To begin disassembling the CNC toy, first unscrew the battery back screw, then remove the battery back and the three batteries. Once finished removing the batteries, you may begin to unscrew the outer housing screws. After all the screws are removed, simply take off the rear housing. Next, we will remove the screws from the speaker assembly. Once all three of the screws are removed, the speaker assembly can be removed. After the speaker assembly is disassembled, we can take out the input return spring. To do so, hold the spring with one hand and unscrew the screws with the other to avoid having the spring fly off. After the spring has been removed, unscrew the six screws connecting the gear train hold down fixture to the inner housing. Then remove the fixture and set it aside. We will disassemble this later. Since nothing is holding down the flywheel or the stacked gear, we can simply remove them from the inner housing. Next, while holding down the outside spinner, remove the screw and fixture holding the activation gear assembly in place. Once finished, then remove the spring, the activation gear, the activation gear insert, the voice activation bar, and finally the spinner itself. Once the activation gear assembly is disassembled, remove the screws holding the two flipper hold down fixtures in place and remove the fixtures. Next, unscrew the two screws holding the CNC label in place and then remove the label. Once the label is removed, it is time to remove the flipper spring inserts. To do this, push both ends of the spring inserts into each other, then use your finger to press the insert out a little. Be careful not to push too hard because the spring can easily fly out. Do this with both inserts, then remove the flipper. To disassemble the letter circuit board assembly, begin by unscrewing the two screws in the plate. Next, remove the plastic plate, followed by the letter circuit board. Lastly, the blue support and metal contact can be removed. To disassemble the gear train hold down fixture, unscrew the two screws holding the main circuit board plate down. Once the screws are out, the plate can be removed. Next, unscrew the one screw holding the main circuit board down. Now the main circuit board can be removed. Once the circuit board is removed, flip the fixture over and remove the two screws holding the bottom plate down. After the two screws are removed, take out the bottom plate followed by the rack gear. Next, the pinion gear and the pinion gear insert can be removed. Lastly, remove the spring hold down fixture and the spring.